If you're a lower level CSGO player who's looking to improve, we've picked the top 10 things that global elite players abuse that you don't. My name is Taco and welcome to Valve Guides. Global Elite is the best matchmaking rank that you can get, which means they have some knowledge that can be useful to lower rank players. So today we picked out the top 10 things that Global Elite players do that you don't. So without further ado, let's get right into these in no particular order of course. At our number 10 spot is paying attention to your role on the team. Too often I see people getting sidetracked with getting the entry or getting an op. While team comp isn't as important in CS as it is in something like Overwatch, that doesn't mean it isn't at all. Paying attention to what your role is, following the tasks that the role calls for, and playing as a team will often grant you more success. If you're the rifler on your team, you shouldn't be playing as IGL, or a support player, assuming your teammates are alive of course. Coming in at number 9 we have baiting but in a smart way. Now I don't mean wait for all of your team to die and jump in there to save the day. No, that almost never works well. You didn't look anywhere. When I was dying, you were looking at him. What I mean to say is that you can set up with a teammate in a position for your teammate to allow you to have the advantage on the enemy. If your teammate is in the open and draws out the enemy, you can easily get the jump on them. This isn't always the smartest idea, but if you know how to do it and you do it at the right time, it can be extremely effective. At number eight, we have spray patterns. I hear this tip a lot, but I don't think people understand how useful it is. Be all capable of anything. Nice respray, nice spray transfer, but this is probably taking a slow body holding the angle very smartly indeed. Continuation what? spray. That is one of the most absurd things I have seen in Counter Strike. If you ever missed a long range AK spray, it's most likely because you don't know the spray patterns. As an example, if you go ask most pro CSGO players to draw the CSGO spray patterns, they'd most likely be able to do it fairly accurately for most common guns. If you can learn spray patterns and go against them with your mouse, you can spray almost in a single spot. This eliminated bullet spread and makes your shooting much more accurate. Coming in at Number seven, we have pre-aiming and pre-firing. Pre-aiming goes along with crosshair placement. Keeping your crosshair at the spot where the enemy is most likely to be will save you so many times. There's no need to be looking at the ground or at the walls when there is a corner an enemy might pop out of any second. If you use this along with pre-aiming, you'll have a better chance of winning the aim duel you're about to take on. Take your crosshair, make sure it's always at head height, and then just, it's kind of just attached to the corner of the wall, so you're just like glued to the corner of the wall here. Instead of having to snap the enemy when you pop the corner, you'll already have your position ready. Pre-firing isn't used that often, but if you peek a corner or take on a spot while firing, you can surprise the enemy and kill them before they can even react to seeing you. At number 6, we have peeking corners. You shouldn't be constantly peeking corners where the enemy can see you first. Keep in mind that the closer you are to a corner, the faster the enemy will see you. When you peek a corner, step back. It'll make it where the enemy won't see you as fast. Also knowing that the direction you go when peeking corners changes how fast your head is visible. A great video by Banana Gaming demonstrates this great. If you're curious about this, go check him out and watch that video. Coming in at number 5, we have Rage. I think every single person who has played CSGO has experienced a rage monster. What many people don't realize is that personal rage and even team rage can affect your play. It may not seem like it, but staying calm and focused instead of raging and making excuses can change a lot. You'll be focused and concentrated, which allows you to play better. For number four, we have deathmatch. I can't stress this enough, practicing deathmatch is one of the best ways to practice. Playing deathmatch before your game is also one of the best, if not the best way to warm up and prepare for your competitive matches. Even if you're not able to play comp, playing deathmatch will improve your aim drastically. But be prepared, if you're playing in something like a community deathmatch server, you're going to die a lot. There are people spawning everywhere all the time, but it's one of the best ways to improve. At number three, we have Game Sense. If you've ever played CSGO, I'm sure there's been a few times where something happened that you didn't predict. If you had better Game Sense, it's possible you might have seen it coming. Maybe you were surprised by a rotation or a strat from the other team. If you understand how people play the game, it's likely you'll be less surprised. If you want to improve your Game Sense, watching pro CSGO is one of the best ways. They're pros, meaning they're the best at the game. If anyone has game sense, it's them. At number two, we have stutter stepping. Another name for this is stop shooting. This is where you strafe sideways and stop right before you shoot. If you hold D and strafe right and tap A for a second before shooting, you'll stop. When you're stopped, you can shoot with complete accuracy. It's rapidly counter strafing back and forth, back and forth, and spraying at the same time. So many pros use this and it's difficult to see because it's such a built-in habit. This takes a bit to get used to, but once you have it down, it's something you won't stop doing. Before we jump into number one, we'd like to give a huge thank you to our sponsor CSGO Roll. On CSGORoll.com you can play fun games like Crash, Dice, and Roulette. You can win some awesome skins. 
If you want to get started, use code GUIDES or the link in the description to get 50 cents for free. Number 1. Crouching in our very last spot, we have crouching. Unlike the others, this is something the globals don't do that often. When you crouch, it makes you, as a target, easier to hit. It also makes it much easier to get a headshot on you. If you can limit how much you crouch, you'll find yourself surprising people who do this all the time. If you go into a deathmatch game and you unbind your crouch key, I think you'll realize how often you use it. If you're halfway into a spray and you crouch, your spray will drop lower with you and it might realign with the enemy. There are good and bad things about crouching, so think about it before you do it. That's all for today, everyone. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you have something to add that we missed or anything else, let us know in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Again, thanks for watching and stay amazing.